Hello there, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK at www.xcase.co.uk. Please take the time to look at our website. We're an importer of uh, computer chassis and we also build up uh, various servers. So on my bench today is one of our chassis, it's called the Xcase RM212 Pro. The Pro simply because we do another 212 and this one's better. Um, being a 2U rack mount, the 212 basically means the 1-2 at the end, it's got 12 hot swap caddies. This customer's opted to fill them with three terabyte hard drives, which is pretty much the standard at the moment. The caddies themselves have these springs around them. This stops the drives from vibrating and prolongs their life. And each caddy has two activity lights. I'll come to that shortly. Now this is halfway through a build. Um, this uh, particular customer's having a single processor board, a, a 12 port RAID card, and a redundant power supply. It's a standard ATX board. But there's also plenty of room in here for a full-size board, or indeed a micro ATX. Now this is a freeware 9650 RAID card, a 12 port. There's not many 12 port cards on the market, and so normally, um, whereas this has got the full height slot on a riser, we would use half height backplate and fit an 8 port card or an 8 port and a 4 port. But the most common is an 8 port card for 8 drives and the 4 remaining going from the motherboard. Now this customer is having two um, SSD drives connected to the motherboard as a mirror RAID. The chassis itself, if you just find the chassis on its own as opposed to a server, uh, comes complete with this uh, little bracket so you can fit to internal SSDs. It goes down here. And the chassis uh, comes complete with these four hot swap 80mm fans. They simply come out like that. Not to be confused with the 80mm as you'll find in a standard desktop. These um, push through a lot more airflow and they connect to this PCB. The PCB has a four pin wire connected to it which you can then plug into your motherboard and you can control the speed of the fans through the motherboard's BIOS. So basically they'll be fairly quiet when the yeah, system's cool and they'll speed up when it needs cooling. Okay, so the drive caddies themselves slot into the back plane. The back plane's a mini SAS a 6GB. Basically got these three mini SAS connectors. Each one controls four drives and the same connectors can be found on the RAID card. So it's basically just three cables for 12 drives. Keeps things nice and neat. The back plane itself has got features that are supported with most RAID cards now, which will enable you to locate drives. It will warn you with various flickers of um, impending doom on a drive, or it will show you if a drive is indeed dead. 
Now I'm going to start it up. Uh, this one's um, halfway through initialising some drives, so we'll see not lots of lights, hopefully. And that's the fans going at full pace to begin with until the motherboard finds them. Now hopefully the RAID card will find them shortly and it will start counting them down. Make sure they're all connected and if there was a problem drive then on top of the blue light there is an amber light which would flicker depending on the problem. If it was completely dead it would stay on totally amber. If it uh, felt that the drive was on the way out the two drives, the two lights would flicker together and if you um, want to find a drive through the RAID card on drive location then these will flicker alternatively. So if one of these fans failed, it will give you a red LED on the top of the fan to show you know which one it is. And hopefully you'll hear that beep telling you that the fan's failed. And you'll also get a failure flicker on the front of the chassis. Most of the noise actually coming from this chassis currently is from the redundant power supply that's fitted. The fans, in, in fairness, aren't uh, very noisy at all at this stage. To give you an idea of what they can be like at 8,000 revs. So you can see that the BIOS control works very well. Now we'll build up a system in this chassis to specification single processor, dual processor, you name it really. There are various motherboards where you can control all drives from the motherboard or you can opt for different RAID cards. Basically just send us an email for a quote. Or if you want to do it yourself, the 212 Pro chassis, really nice to work with, proper chassis and uh, you'd be very safe with it. So I think that's about it. Um, I was hoping the freeware card would have kicked in by now before I run out of time on my video but it hasn't. And just to show you all the drives flickering away. I'm just going to count down. Hopefully we might get a few more seconds. There we go. And that's the end of my video. Thanks for listening.